I'm just gonna do a quick video on ear posting because loads of people have messaged um, and I've helped quite a few people over the last 18 months. And I just thought, you know what, I'm just gonna put it in one video. Um, and quite a few of the videos I've seen have been American and I don't, I can't find anything on the internet that's in the UK with UK things. So I'm gonna link in um, the list of things you need and I'm gonna link in some pictures of what Holly's looked like and how we're gonna try and get them in the end. Also a little quick demo on pockets and how to get rid of pockets. Okay, so as you can see in the little clip that I've just put in, we've got some duct tape. We're not gonna put that around the ears. That's just to make the posts nice and strong. We've got some elastopast um, plaster, it's a fabric one. Doesn't need to be breathable because this is for inside the ear. Then you've got what goes around the ear, so you can either use a black wrap tape or just a micropore, it has to be breathable. Cleaning wipes, adhesive remover, all this will be linked in, and back of rod. Um, depending, I think, on the size of your dog's ears, depends on the size you need. Um, this is just like one centimetre, which worked well for us. So we're gonna start off with uh, measuring your dog's ear. So what you need to do is look um, at the little dip inside the ear. I'll post a video of Holly's um, and measure from that point, just, just a little bit longer than the tip. Um, and then you just get a piece of back rod like this. And then you have two of them, but I'm just gonna do it on one. Um, that back rod, I haven't got any tape left because I don't post Holly's ears anymore. So it's this, it's just some Scotch tape, um, but it's literally at the end of the roll, so I can't show you. Gets wrapped around this. So then you've just got a hard stick then, a hard stick. Um, so that's gonna give you your strength. At the bottom of that, I'm gonna put some cotton wool. Just so, at the bottom of it, it's really nice and soft and it's not gonna rub or irritate. Elastoplast tape then goes around your stick, your hard stick. <laughs> so it's a really fiddly, the more you do it, the easier it will become. Um, but I start at the bottom just so I can make sure this tape's on. And what we're doing is we're trying to make a sticky stick. So initially, at the bottom, I wrap it round normally to get a fluffy end and a normal bit of tape round it. So that sticks it on and switch the tape back on itself and wrap it. All the way up it's really tricky but you get the hang of it it's more fiddly really and this is not going to be the best video of my life i'm sorry um it's just easier than having to explain to loads of people via voice messages so we keep going till we get to the top so i've got a sticky stick and it's got some fluff on the bottom helps if you have some good scissors and that is what's going to go in her ear so that's sticky and that's going to stick really well to the inside of her ear so before we stick this in her ear now what we're going to do is make sure we give it a really good clean so um these off adhesive wipes are just like little square wipes I usually give it a really good clean with that, um, gets rid of any old adhesive, and then I just got these finger ear wipes, so there was no um, no nastiness left in the ear, no, none of this chemical or anything in it. Give it a real good wipe out, so they're just nice and clean, make sure they've dried. I usually do that at the start, and then while I'm making these, I know they've definitely dried. Um, I'll post a little clip in now of how to put it in her ear. Me. So this is the little pocket ear that you're measuring from, and you can put your thumb in it, and you can feel this little, little, bit there this fluffy bit oh you're not eating it we're not eating it goes and sits nicely into it and then you just pull the ear up around it and push that in like that so that's how it's gonna go and you can see that kind of stays there without even anything on it um but you're gonna put the tape around it and that's how it's gonna stick all you're gonna want to do is either tape it with micropore or black wrap tattoo tape they're the only things I've found at the minute that are breathable. Everyone else might have some other ideas, I don't know, but these are the best ones I've found. 
right down in our ear. That's going to come around. And we're going to start taping. So we're going to put the tape on the white. And there's a little fold on the ear yet. That needs to go back. And we're just going to tape round. And I always do it in sections. Another piece of tape on it. This is really, really rough. Then that's going to go around. I'm surprised she's sitting for this. And then again, you'd have another one, which is this one on the top, but I'm not going to put her through it because she doesn't have her ears pasted anymore. And that's how they are. Okay, so you've been doing all the posting and then you still find the ears are going like that. So that's the top of the dog's head and the ears are kind of doing that and that means you've got a pocket. Um, you don't want them coming in like that, you want them like nice and upright, otherwise they're just going to drop in on themselves. So what we can do is when we've got our stick, before we make it sticky, um, we can put a little bumper on there and essentially what it does is if that's your dog's ear leaning in, um, we put a little bumper here on the post so it can't lean in and it pushes it back out a little bit just on that crease line and it keeps them up nice and straight. So to do a bumper, all we do is when we've wrapped our stick in the blue tape, before we put this round it, um, we just put a little bit of cotton wool wherever your dogs just measure it. You can mark it with a pencil or something. Wherever you see it starting to lean in, at that point you want to just put a little bit of cotton wool just so it literally makes a P shape on your stick and pushes that bit of skin out. Bridges. So, to make the bridge, literally all I do is I get a bit of baccarat, wrap it in some tape to make it strong again, exactly like we did with the first stick, but you just need to make sure you've got them at a 11 and um, one position. So they're like this. Um, and just so you make sure you've cut that to the right size and you just stick it to each side with some micropore or whatever you do in that outside tape with just use that to include a bridge as well um, and then that will keep them in that nice shape again i'll pop a picture in finally just to say um we don't always need a bridge it's good in the early days just to get that that position um but once they're holding the position you can leave the bridge off and just have them as independent posts um, it's a little bit easier to manage. Once um, she doesn't need the posts anymore, your dog doesn't need the posts, you can move on to breathe right strips and that's just to help that little wibbly tip um, harden up a little bit. But I found we only use them for like a few weeks just because I didn't trust, just because I didn't trust the, <laughs> the ears without the posts. But all I did with these is the two wings at the top, I just cut them off to make a V shape. Take the sticky back bits off so it's a sticky stick again. Eyelash glued them and stuck them in right at the tip. Um, and I'll link in a picture again, um, but that really kept the, the tips nice and strong. But actually, if they lie on them and they fly kind of like that for a little bit, See how it starts to bend so they kind of last about five days but with that bending and bending it means slip time sometimes you can find that the ears lose the shape so i kind of give up on them after a little bit um because it was more hassle than what it was worth and actually they strengthened up on their own i hope you found that helpful um i think sometimes it just takes just to see someone do it or just to like think oh okay i can do that now and then it's become second nature to you um so yeah if anybody is struggling feel free to share and hopefully it helps them out